From the Hard Rock Cafe in Toronto, it's Ed the Sock Live! All right, so Liana, uh, let's do a brief PSA here. Tell us about the uh, Angel Hair. Is that what it's called? Angel Hair for Kids? Yes. That's Yeah, that's the company that actually operates out of Canada as opposed to some of the others that actually sometimes ship the hair to the U.S. It doesn't stay in Canada. That took a bit of finding. But yeah, it's you have to mail your hair in or drive out to a place in Mississauga, but you have to call ahead to drop it off. But yeah, I, I did it a few times. You have to have virgin hair. Don't laugh. It's actually a thing. It you have to have what? Virgin hair. You can't have hair dye or anything. Yeah, no dye. Oh, no, I was starting yeah, to think nothing, there was some variation on the beef steamship going yeah, on. Yeah, no, nothing chemically treated because they have to strip the cuticle to put it in a wig. Good job, so, Max. Yeah, Stick it I, on your feet. Good job. I started doing this with my cousin. She got diagnosed with cancer at the age of 13, and you know she wouldn't leave the house without this, this wig. It's an important thing for their self-esteem and keeping their spirits up and everything like that with everything else they got to go through. So, yeah, I've, I think I've done it three times now it's more of a process than you might think um you when you when you have chemotherapy you, it results in you losing all your hair right yes what if a, a woman or even a guy would like to have a little uh, a little garden growing down below can anybody donate like oh. can they donate their you know their their <laughs> lower hairs I think uh, I could probably do that. Yeah, right Nick's now beard. Somebody, yeah, yeah you could probably off soon, so you'll be you'll be seeing it. But you yeah. could, yeah, you oh, could probably get a you could probably get a few beard. '70s styles ones going on. Anybody out there needs '70s pubes? I got you covered. It's coming off. Didn't soon. they have to do that for a movie? <laughs> There was some actress, it was one of those 70s, uh, yeah, no, like Studio good. 54 type movies, and they actually had to put on pube extensions. Yeah, but The, the Rock also did a, a movie yeah. for, like Hercules, where they actually used like yak ball hair and glued it to his face. No, we're not talking about faces. Beard. Yeah, we're not talking about faces here. Still, it's right. I'm going to look stuff. this up. But, now, uh, <laughs> now, Liana, you say that the hair goes into shock because it's used to the, you know, the, the, the pulling. The There's extra actually weight. something called a merkin, which is an actual pubic hair wig. Merkin? Yes. I remember. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of this. I remember yeah. Dr. Gabe Merkin. He used to do a radio show oh, about they're, health. They're apparently quite popular at Burning Man. Merkins? Yeah. That's hilarious. I'm not sure why that would be I the case. I would want to burn that. No, they apparently use like fun for ones, so it's oh, yeah. shocking. Pink yeah, fun for that looks like a that lot like Burning pubes. Man. <laughs> yeah. Fine. You're gonna fool people with fun fur down there, down below. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, so, Leanne, you're saying that the the hair goes into shock because it's used to the weight used to being pulled on. Yeah, right? it's not actually a hair; it's actually your scalp. I mean, no, I'm hair wondering. Is dead, but. I'm wondering if porn actresses who are getting it from behind often uh, and getting their hair pulled while it happens would that happen to their hair too? Would it go into shock when they're not, you know, uh, taking it from behind and having somebody pull their hair like a ponytail? That would have to be a long-term pulling. Yeah. Like, it would have to be up for hours consistently. It's not quite the same thing. Yeah, yeah, porn people don't want to work that long or that hard. 